Abby and Alex. Ah, Benny Caravella. The Here old, we are. The old country. You, know, you remember the, the, the threshing of, of wheat, the riding of horses, and the oiling of mechs. Yes. Is that your Bubba and Papa? Uh, yeah, Pop Pop and Bub Bub. Uh, we used to call and them. And my Mech Mech? And, me- and my Grandpa <laughs> Mech Mech. Horse horse. Uh, boy, Thanksgiving was never the same. Yeah. So this is Scythe. Okay. Uh, it is a digital version of a physical board game. Mm. It's uh, Jamie, Jamie Stegmeier's Steg, Stegmeier, Stegmeier. Stegmeier's, uh game that came out a while ago. He's kind of famous for another game called Viticulture. It was a very highly anticipated game. It was kickstarted. Good reception. I like it. Okay. It's a fun board game. So, yes, you're a fan of the real-life Scythe board game. Scythe, yes. Scythe uh, board game. Yeah, I like it. I, I think it also plays very well physically. There's a lot of clever mechanics in it that make use of physical space. In it. Okay, but you do not have physical space here. No, and so this is the digital version. So going into this, I will say it's $20. I'm okay. playing on Steam here. Mm-hmm. Who is this for? Who is this for? I'm not quite sure yet. I think it might be for folks who uh, probably have Scythe and want to play in another form right. or practice against an AI. There is online play. We're not going to get into that. I'm going to kind of go through this as if, though, you have never played Scythe and what this game is. Okay. 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 Maybe it's for folks who want to play with friends who live far away. That's th- Yeah. That is for sure a way to go. I will say I've played a lot of digital Catan in various yeah. forms really? over the years. Yes, because it's a lot easier uh, than trying to nerd. get people together for a game. Yeah, for sure. Is it the fun of playing board games is that you're hanging out? Uh, listen, there are all different ways to hang out. I've never had fun hanging out with other people. <laughs> okay, you raised some good points. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, pick uh, just two other opponents here. I'm going to put them on easy. We can rename them. I'm going to rename them. Let's make one Abby. Yay! Wait, no, do Abby Bot. Abby Bot. There we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> there we go. Abby Bot and Alex Bot. Alex Butt. Alex Butt. Cool. There Can I go. do Abby Bottom then? Okay. Yay. All right. So uh, we're going to just randomize all the mats. And so okay. this the mats are in Scythe. You get um, a player mat, which is your character you're playing as, and then also kind of a what you can do on each turn mat. And so we're randomizing all of that. So basically your faction mat. Are uh, you like a badger? What is that? A fox? Uh, who is this? I wish they had a roll. That appears to be this. some kind of raccoon. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really raccoon. matter. Raccoon. Each, wow. each faction has a special perk that they can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the player mats just kind of rearrange your actions you can take. And it'll make more sense later on. Okay. Uh, this is the difficulty you can choose for, for your AI. We're just going to go on easy. Okay. Um, this usually has a rollover. And then um, I'm going to set the undo to last action. The promo cards is fine. They're just extra stuff that was in the game. I can't wait for this promos. to all make sense. <laughs> uh, uh, and this is just like a preventing a deadly combination of using the Rusviet, uh faction com- uh, combined with the industrial playmat. Apparently overpowered. Okay. Okay. Oh. Did this all make sense to you as someone who played the game when you came uh, th- in? Or did this you I, this I didn't know. So okay. this was good to know to know that when next time I play Scythe, I should definitely use this combination. <laughs> uh, game but, design, folks. Yeah. Uh, so I actually really enjoyed this. Uh, I haven't played a ton of Scythe. Like, it is very hard to get people together to play. Uh, so I actually enjoyed this as seeing how a computer might play the game or, okay. you know, what, what strategies, like what, if you were just to like to, to grill this down to like just the pure math of it, what does that look like? Yeah. What does this look like? So we're using, we're going to be playing as Saxony, the faction. My ability is, uh, there's no limit to the stars from completing objectives and winning combat. Okay. So he's like a wolf. A wolf. They're basically a wolf. Uh, uh, I have to Germans. say, I'm loving the like key art. Here. The art is amazing. It's Very something good. that's in the and board like, game the music as well. Too. Yeah. Well, the music's not in the board game, but the, the art is definitely in the board game. That's a big part of it. Mm-hmm. Like, not gameplay wise, but it's beautiful to look at. You mean to tell me they didn't include like a portable speaker with <laughs> no. this music? It came with a phonograph. Yeah, One right. person who plays just has to sing the song. <laughs> They're just grinding the phonograph. But that was an L, that was a Kickstarter high, high, high Kickstarter uh-huh. tier right. to have that person come with the game. So okay, so this is a faction ability. This over here, this structure bonus, I'll, I'll go through this, not super slow, but stop me if you have any major questions. I know you're going to have questions. This is everybody gets to share this bonus. Okay. It's an end game thing. It'll it'll come in the form of calculating scores at the end. This secret objective, each player gets two secret objectives. Mm. And again, it is something to help you win the game. Okay. You don't, have to, you don't share this with the other players. That's why it's a secret. Here we go. 
Here are the other players. I'm Polonia. Polonia. Rusviet. Yes. Yay, uh, I'm the powerful uh -huh. one. Uh, Rusviet's cool because they get to take, well, again, this will make sense, but you get to take two of the same. Look at those hexes. Yes, hexes. Classic board game style. Yes, Love yes, me a good hex. Wow, look at the little wooden pieces. Look at my bear. Why wouldn't they make them look nice? Uh, so it's funny. The game doesn't come with meeples Ooh, that look like that this. Uh, the game comes with the like meeples that are colored, full colored in. The little people that are just full blocks you just of color. Them meeples. Meeples. What are meeples? Uh, they're little board game peoples. You need uh, a vaccine the for your meeples. <laughs> uh, but these you can you can actually buy these. Um, can I buy myself a tiny cowboy? If you want to buy yourself a tiny <laughs> cowboy, you should have named you Tiny Cowboy. <laughs> all right, so here's a kind of overview of uh, the board here, right? It okay. all takes place here. Each player starts or each faction starts on their icon. In the middle of the board is something called the factory. Each board has a different or each hexagon has a different resource on it, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. Can you, can you point out what some of those resources are? Sure. You have uh, grain. Okay. Wood. That looks like honey. Is yeah, that for Pooh Bear? Kinda, yeah, it's for Pooh Bear. The poo make, bring out your Pooh Bear. Uh, iron. Uh-huh. And that should oil? be oil. Okay. Cowboy's got oil. Cowboy's got oil. So. The four elements. This is going to take a second, so bear with me. Yes. To win the game, at the very end of the game, you need to have six stars. It should be a more details thing. Where is that? Is that somewhere here? Are any of those supposed to be stars because they don't look I like see, stars? I see. There's like dark see the stars here. There. You would have six stars across a, a number of categories. There, oh, there we go. You can kind of see it on mine. I can it's see over it. The, yeah, like, sorry. I can see it now. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, see it now? Yeah, now I see it. Okay. So the idea to end the game, uh -huh. you some one of the players has to accumulate six stars. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. Let's see if this has rollovers. Okay. So you can complete all your upgrades. Uh -huh. That'll get you a star. You can deploy all your mechs, up to four of them. That's how many you have. You can uh, complete all your structures, up to four. That's how many you have. Uh, this is uh, recruits. This is not going to make sense, but just bear with me. Well, no, uh, I'm kind of getting the gist okay. of it. You can I'm complete not, but the, you, I'm bearing with you. You can complete one of those two secret objectives we had. That'll uh -huh. get you a star. You can win in battle twice. Uh, so this is one of the only ones you can actually get two stars in here. Okay. Um, so basically, I, I mean, yeah, it's you have a variety of ways you can tackle this, things right. you can focus on yeah. and approach, and ultimately the goal is just to collect the number of stars you need at the end. Six, up it's to six. It's kind of like Mario Party. Uh, like Mario Party. Let's, it's exactly let, like Mario Party. If I change it to some video game parlance, let's say you need to get six achievements for doing certain things, right? Well, six. stars is video games. It's Mario Party. Yeah, no, uh, I get stars. I yeah. understand stars. Okay. Yeah, so you have, like, you can do it a multiple different ways. Multiple different and ways. And do they cap out, like, I can only get a certain number of stars you, doing it this way. Yeah, so you can okay. only get one per um, oh, per okay. thing except for combat you can get to. Okay. Now if another team like say deploys their mechs before all their mechs before you do are you no. then locked out? You can also get you those stars? You can also get okay. those stars and uh, getting all the stars doesn't make you win the game it ends the game. Okay. Oh. So then there's a score total. Everybody takes out the dice uh, I'm sorry the, the pen and paper um, and then you have to start doing oh, uh, some Work. math. Yeah, so... So presumably you don't want to gain all those stars until you feel like yes. you are in a comfortable position with a score that will yes. win. Okay, this makes sense. So uh, so this is why some... Now we're starting to get into a bit of why I think this works a little better physically. Right. So along the board, all this information is very clear. There are different tracks you can, you can watch. One of those tracks is a big column that's along the side of the board that is a popularity track. Uh, and as you gain popularity, it actually becomes a multiplier for your score at the end. So if you're at 13 to 18 popularity, by the end of the game, you will get five points per star you earned to add to your score. You'll get five per points per, I think this is resource, I mean, this is resource, and territory owned, okay? So there's you're going to start basing your score mostly against popularity. Right. Okay. And this kind of makes sense when you see it. It's a little tough to just explain here. So I'm going to start a turn here. Let's and, do it. And there's going to be, a, again, a bit of slow motion. This is your player mat. This is the thing that we chose and randomized in the beginning, a random one. I think this pops it up. Okay. It's is much bigger when you're playing. You basically, to take a turn, you take one top row action. Consider these columns, right? Mm -hmm. Each one of these is a column. You get to take one top row action if you want to move. We would go here. The uh, little dots here mean you can move, or these little boxes mean you can move two guys. Okay. Let's let's use the move action as an example. So we have some characters that are already laid out. Two workers are already laid out. No mechs start at the beginning of the game. 
and your character counts as a movable piece. All right. Your character can go to things here. And let's, uh, let's make our way there. These are encounters, and these are basically little bonus things that will happen. Uh, so sorry. Let's commit to the move action. It'll say move two units. Yes, confirm. So we can move him once. Bonk. Uh, and if we want, we can move. Do we want an encounter? Uh, I can't. You can't move the same unit twice. Okay. Uh, 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 by default. Okay. Uh, you can move two units. Okay. You can yeah, move yeah, two units. So it, again, I think physically this works out pretty well. Looking at it here, it also works out. There's just better ways to do it digitally. Right. Uh, let's move this unit as well. So a a worker or a mech can transport stuff. You'll get like say this, there was oil on here. I could load this worker up with oil and then move it, but we don't need to do that. So let's move this guy here. That'll make sense later. That's basically the end of our turn. Okay. We, we did our top row action. And the reason I say that is if we had three wood, we can do the bottom row action in this card, on this column, but we don't. So we have to skip. Okay, it. Okay, so those are like those are the requirements for being able to do yes. those second row actions. So usually you can do a top row action pretty easily, and then directly underneath it is the second half of your turn if you have the resources. Gotcha. Right. And so when we randomize the play mats, another player, Abby Butt or Abby, Abby Bottom, might have bolster and deploy under. They're different for oh, each player. Okay. Yeah. And so are those permanent or do they like shuffle? They each don't. Time you this is it. So okay. that's why again physically you'd see it printed out on yeah. the card. The randomization is just at the start. And that's uh, it. Okay. And so consider this here. Uh, physically, this is covered up with something. You wouldn't even see this. Mm. But this is how, you, when we get to the upgrade portion, you can say, hey, when I pay a coin to get more power, I can upgrade this to get three power instead of two. Right. And then you would, this is why this works physically and it's awesome. You'd move whatever was covering this, a little block, down to one of these. And then mm. you would say, oh, and now I only need to spend two oil instead of three. I see. There's basically a little wooden block that covers up all these, and you take it from the top row and move it to something on the bottom. It's kind of a neat mechanic. So let's just say we finished our move here, and let's end the turn. Uh, everybody's going to go. Okay. You can speed this up a little bit if you want to not watch the AI go. Good it's, job, Alex Butt. <laughs> it's not Hell immediate. Yeah. So we're back onto our turn. So now that I have uh, a creature here, or a, a, a meeple, let's just say a worker here, uh, I can start gaining resources. So the fun thing about Scythe is you can't do the same column twice unless you're the Rusvia and you let that case you have a special ability that lets you. Mm. So I can't move again. Cannot do it. We'll not use last turn. So I have to pick something else. Mm. So let's do... Um, so on the next turn, would you be able to get yes. that back? Okay. So basically, physically, again, each player has a token that they move around what column they're in. But you kind of need to be thinking about two moves ahead at any given point. Kind of do, yeah. And also, again, playing physically, you can see what your opponent's done. You can see what they have options because this comes in later on of can they move to intercept me? Right. Uh, so let's just go and let's try and farm. Is this do you find a, it's hard to see what the opponent is doing in the digital version? Uh, not really. I think they're trying to give you all of that information oh, okay. in different places. I just, I just haven't been able to absorb it readily. As it's right. not as easy for me as just looking across at Alex's brain right. to see it. Well, and you know, I used the the Catan thing earlier, but like Catan is a much easier game to translate to something like this because it is just a, f a handful of pieces and cards, and there's not like a lot of like real complication is, to the rules. This is kind of a systems heavy game. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'll just in the interest of moving forward, I want to produce. So this is uh, produce here. Uh, I'll blow this up again just because it's a little hard to see. What I'm going to be able to do is produce from two workers here. So here we go. I'm As Rich Gallup would say, produce. Produce. Here we go. Uh, so I'm going to actually, again, this is, sorry, i got to stop sometimes. What, if I make another worker, which is what I'm going to do here, I'm going to produce or basically uh, call it into action, requisition, whether, conscript a worker into my ranks. I'm going to have, eventually, if I take two, I'm going to have to pay for that okay. every time oh. I produce. That's what this little red thing here is. It's either underneath two glowy workers. Mm -hmm. Again, physically, this makes a little more sense because you'd be removing a right. thing that was covering it. But uh, I'll be okay for now. So let's produce these guys. So I'm going to get uh, one barrel of oil. Sorry, get down. One barrel of oil and uh, one worker here. There we go. So I can produce one barrel of oil and one Bonk. worker. Bonk. Uh, if I had two workers on here, I'd be able to produce uh, two more workers. Oh, or if I, I had see. two workers on here. So you could basically produce from two. That's too many two. workers. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And listen, it's a resource management game. Yes. Uh, so I don't have enough uh, uh, iron 
to do anything here, so I got I have to end my turn. So I'm just gonna hit space bar ten. There's a lot of systems. Sorry, there's yeah. a lot of systems. No, in no, here. no, no. I, I think you're making about it as digestible as is possible with this game being so what it is. You can kind of see uh, Alex over here has just made. That's me. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Abby. A Abby Bottom has just made two more workers here, and also produced uh, has been producing. I'm rich. Yeah, have some iron there. Uh, over here, you have made another worker, mm -hmm. and where's your? Oh, you haven't. And oh, okay. Bush. There's another worker here. Yeah, I like that. All bush. my workers look like uh, <laughs> friendly Italian working. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that uh, little monkey back there that you know plays the <laughs> plays the symbols. Uh, you gotta keep the people entertained. Yeah. These are tunnels, and if you're on any tunnel, you can transport to any other tunnel. Uh, you cannot cross rivers. Uh, by, uh, de by default, there are exceptions to all of these rules. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the factions can cross rivers because they can swim. The Nordic faction, I believe, but you can damn Vikings. You can load your people into mechs and they can carry you across. No, and nobody likes a wet mech <laughs> if they if they have the river walk right. ability. And again, physically, this makes sense because when you remove the mech, you reveal what ability it has. So. Uh, it's our turn again. We cannot produce again, but we can move. Let's get to an encounter. We won't be able to get to an encounter because we have to cross a river. Let's work on something. Let's work on... You're actually kind of cut off there from a lot am, of the board. I am a little cut off. So what do we have? We have uh, access to uh, people. We have... Oh, we can move our person here. So let's get into this encounter just so you can see what kind of stuff this gets you. And also, the encounters usually are very good. Okay. Uh, about how long does it take to finish a game? Uh, I would say, depending on the number of players, uh, the quickest, maybe 45 minutes with two people. The more people you have, it kind of balances out a bit because of uh, conflict and bumping into each other. Uh -huh. We have to wait for people to take their turns. You know, it could Probably be a few hours. I haven't played with a lot of people, so I'm not sure. When I played this at home, uh, about a half hour, 45 minutes. Oh, and, okay. But I was running through it. Right. Uh, so let's move. Uh, let's move our main character here we'll get this encounter it'll happen at the end of our turn and let's move our um well, do you want both those workers there i want to start moving sorry not you i'm so sorry i want one yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. Ask. i can only move one because that's right. all we have so here's our encounter card you got a gorgeous piece of art that bear met that cow uh and basically what happens is you just kind of get this scene and then you decide what's ah. going on in the scene so uh you know you kind of infer based on the choices you have what's supposed to be happening here you can offer to translate for the locals and the soldiers so let's assume something bad has happened here you yeah. can kind of step in for that you'd gain two oil and one popularity you can make a high stakes bet and win a mech pay four to deploy four dollars to deploy a mech or you can intentionally mistranslate to rile up the people and seize control of the oil refinery you'd lose two popularity and gain one worker and three oil so a lot of risk reward here a lot of trade-off i kind of want to Get a Just mech. Pay four dollars and get a mech. Get a mech. Yeah. Uh, what is popularity? So popularity is a track that you kind of follow. Uh, I said at the end of the game, it'll kind of a. Well, one thing is you can get a star if you reach, I think, sixteen okay, popularity. Gotcha. Um, you'll get a star for it. But B, a lot of the scoring comes from times how many popularity. So okay, I think you have okay. the ability to decide yes. what mech ability so you're going to have. So these there. are the abilities I'd be able to uh, uncover by taking a mech off. Uh, we want this river walk. That seems really to, important yeah. right now. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck here. And then we can put the mech on any uh, any place with uh, a worker on it. I believe. I don't think you. I didn't think you needed it to put it here. But maybe this, since this is a um, uh, encounter card, right. maybe I have to do it here. You got a mech. So we have a mech, uh, and that's going to end our turn because we cannot uh, do the bottom action yet. We do right. not have enough wood. Uh, so let's see what's happening here. I'm going to scroll this up. Usually when I was playing at home, I kept this open because this is the main tracking thing. Right. Who's got what stars? How close are they? Um, okay. Back to our turn. We can't move again. But you can load up on into that mech, right? Uh, that's a move. That's part okay. of the move thing. But we can, start, uh, we can start producing. That's fine. You don't have to produce with everything you have on the map. So it gives you the choice. I don't want to make any more people, but I do want to start making... Uh, stuff for upgrades which is oil so i'm gonna make that and since we're here we might as well just make that uh and i'm gonna end my turn All so right. i want to upgrade i believe this is upgrade down here yeah he's spending um he's spending some wood here you're spending the wood and you made a building hell yeah i did so in, in that windmill <laughs> so in particular this windmill acts as a worker on a tile okay it's so, like a perpetual worker yeah exactly 
uh, different buildings have different bonuses, and they do make that pretty clear in rollover stuff here. So uh, a monument, if you keep it steady there for a second, a monument will uh, give you... When you use the bolster action, will get you one popularity. Okay. Uh, there's another track here, which we haven't even looked at, which is might. It's like your forces, how powerful you are. Well, you're pretty all- powerful because you got a mech. <laughs> the windmill we know. Uh, this creates a mine anywhere you want, which is a tunnel. And this is the one that gets you on your power. Uh, I'll just explain it quickly here. Uh, well, maybe we'll get I'll try and get force a fight uh, if we can. Uh, what is our power, actually? So we are one power, not good. Uh, but we have four combat cards, and I'll explain that when we get into a fight. So back to our turn. Let's let's uh, let's focus on making some oil so we can get an upgrade. I actually only need one more, but we can't click this twice. So right. I have to move, and I'm just going to min max oil to try and really get uh, some upgrades going. So we're going to load this guy into our mech for no no reason. Actually, we don't have to, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> you know, we really don't have to. It would be kind of silly, but I want to move you here. Get more oil going. Uh, so this guy, though, I want him to take this ore with me. If I leave it behind and uh, Alex Butt comes, he will claim that. Oh. Oh, you can't have that. No. So this is a load all button, or you could just do it piece by piece. But oh, we're see. just going to load it all, take it with you. Do you have, like, weight limits? No. No. And come here. Uh, Okay. I'll explain the combat stuff when is, I get to it. It's kind of running through my head. So is, <laughs> is there a reason why you wouldn't load all? Uh, you like might want to, yeah, somebody. I'm not sure. I guess if you thought, you know, if there is combat in this game, right? so if you thought somebody's going to come then and squash this, uh, you'd lose everything. Okay, so nice. leaving it spread out might be a tactic. Gotcha. Um, okay, so it's back to our turn. Let's produce so we can kind of get moving on the, uh, what do we need? Let's, okay, this is good. Let's bolster our power. So I'm going to pay a dollar. Oh, I don't have any money. You have no dollars. How do you... Okay. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to bolster anyway because I want to get this upgrade. Um, but how can you if you don't have enough resources? It, it just won't let me. You see, it's like, okay, you uh, just won't do anything, That's, which is fine. Why? Uh, oh, so you can do this? Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I messed up. So I'm going to undo. Oh, cool. Yeah. Undo. Thank you. Hey, stop. Did I miss my chance to undo? Oh, no. It doesn't matter that much. Oh, no. It's okay. We're okay. You were hovering over before. You couldn't undo before that you'd hit the turn button either. Yeah. Alex is getting rich. Maybe I maybe I turn this off. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to produce on this one. Uh, so we're going to produce. We get that oil. Fine. Boom. Okay, now we're rich. Now we're rich. Uh, still need money. But still need some money. Oh, this r- this one here, instead of moving, you could just get money. Oh. It's basically, hey, do you oh, want, hey, you want taxes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're doing stuff. It's harder to explain what they're doing since we're not doing it. Right. <laughs> Let's just say <laughs> they're stuff. winning. Okay. So this is the one I'd want to do at this point. Um, let's, we'll get, the, we'll skip, we'll burn a turn and just get the uh, coin. I'm not playing. This is not my high level play. You will never see that. <laughs> uh, but it's we basically look, we got a coin. Just so I can kind of show off some of the mechanics here. Again, you can speed things up if you want. Um, all right. So now we're going to go back here to bolster. I'm going to spend a coin to get a little power, which is fine. Gain two power. You can see up here, I've got one power. Spend that coin. And I got three power. Now I have three power. Uh, and now we're going to do our bottom action. Finally, we can upgrade. Uh, and let's bring this. Oh, no, nope, because I need to. There's a shortcut key for this. I don't remember what it is. But I'm going to make this bigger so we can see. Huh. <sighs> So basically, I'm now going to upgrade from here, spend my three oil, boom, boom, boom. I have now uh, moving this tick down to something down here. So let's uh, say I want upgrading to only cost two oil, which is actually pretty good. Uh, let's do that. Can we do that from here or do I have to do something else? Yes, this one. Oh, sorry. I didn't click this one. So you can do either of these, mm-hmm. but I, I just want this. I want more power. Always give me more power and make this cost less. Okay. Okay? So now when I spend a, a coin, I get three power, and now this always costs two um, Nice. Oil. Plus you got three coins. Uh, did I? Yes, you did. Oh, I did. Yes. yes. Did. That's underneath here. See, this is down here. Oh, yeah. that's like the result. Yeah. Uh, okay. Again, these mats are all different, mm-hmm. so de- depending on which one you get, which is a cool part of the game. Yeah. 
Uh, the next thing I kind of want to do, just to show off different mechanics of the game, is get to the factory. So the factory is in the middle here. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and move. Uh, I do believe Abby's army seem like they are consolidating in that direction. Yes. Oh, so this is not a, this is not counting as a river. This is counting as a bigger stretch of river. So we're gonna have to take a little uh, take a little detour, which is fine because I'll I'll try and force a fight at some point as well. And let's bring our mech over, and I'll explain once we get into combat why cool. having two big plastic pieces is important. So they're spending money to do something. They probably traded. You can just spend money instead of um, gathering resources. You could just spend money to get whatever resource you want. Right. All right. Here we go. You want so guys no move on this turn. Uh, no move on this turn. Let's bolster because we're going to get into a fight. Alex built so many permanent structures. Uh, I want to pay. I'm going to gain some more power. And the nice thing is, since we only need two oil to upgrade now, we're going to do another upgrade. Nice. Uh, and my upgrade this time will be... You uh, have to confirm. Yeah. Uh, two oil. Bump, bump. Uh, my upgrade this time will be... We can move three units. That's not super sexy to me right now. I kind of want to produce more stuff. Okay. And I'm going to... So I'm going to do this one. I have to confirm that. No, okay. I want that, and I want to. Uh, deploying Max is kind of lame at some point. I mean, you don't even get four of them, right? Yeah. Let's let's do this. <clears throat> so it only costs us two wood here. Now you're rich because we're a little behind. Okay, we're gonna get into a fight next time. Finally. So that's kind of a weird move for for Alex. And I'll explain why I'm, in a second. I'm keeping you on your toes. I guess so. Unless there's something I don't know. All right, so now if I... <clears throat> now I'm going to try and fight here. If I go to fight you and your workers were here... Right. For any worker you had... Maybe I can't cross this. Maybe this isn't river. For any worker you have, I would lose two popularity for fighting you. Okay. Or I'm sorry. I would lose all popularity. Uh -oh. So if you have two workers, I would lose two popularity for starting a fight with workers in the way. Okay. Right? People don't like that. The innocence. Yes. The innocence. Yeah, it really is. Like they, they don't like that. They're not soldiers. Uh, so let's let's go to the move. Uh, yeah. So I actually can't get across okay. there. So your mech could. Uh, I don't know if my mech. Could. I thought it had the river walk. Uh, river wa walk would apply to this character as well. Okay. Is there um, so any kind of indication of what you can or can't cross? Uh, you know, I think it's usually just thin. Okay. Thin water. But it's not the most clear. It's not clear on here. Maybe just because of the way the board is tilted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I feel like it becomes clearer when you're just looking straight down, like the very thin channels. Right. Uh, also, there are certain other things that affect where you can go uh, on that Riverwalk card. Let's see if I can bring it up. Uh, it would be on my max. Uh, see, I can only move from rivers to forests. Uh, mm -hmm. Or mountains. Oh, okay. And that's, that's Savage Forest there. Yeah. Um, versus, versus, let's say, farmland or desert. Yeah, or here are mountains. Land. Yeah. Um, move across rivers to forest or mountains. So, so it's limited where, where you can ford. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's there, kind there, of a bummer to me that this is such a flat art map. Like, I feel like <laughs> that would make it so much easier to be like, oh, look, a forest. Yeah. In, like 3D. It looks nice. I think it's something that if you, after you play a little bit, you just kind of, sure. kind of get. Uh, all right. Let's. Let's go ahead. And again, if I get some of the rules wrong, I'm sorry. Just trying yeah. to like really just dump this stuff out. Yeah. So you kind of get the I think you're doing idea. just fine. Thanks. All right. Let's end the turn. I feel uh, like I at least kind of understand what you're doing, yeah. which I definitely didn't at the beginning of this. Yes, I agree. Uh, I think it takes about one game to really get it, especially the point tallying at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, is, it comes as a bit of a surprise. Right. Okay. Uh, so they have chosen not to come and fight you. Yeah, and I can't move again, but... We can make some more oil, which uh, the upgrades are cool and all, but maybe it's time we start getting some other people some other places. We also, at some point, need to get recruiting. Let's see how this is going on the star front. No, no one, one has any stars, has yet. stars yet. Okay, we're doing all right. All right, let's work on... How about we work on... Um, we're going to gain a bunch of oil now, but then we'll work on deploying the mech. That sounds sensible. So maybe our next upgrade will, will be the mech production. So we're going to bolster... And we're just gaining power. We got the money. Uh, and we're going to bolster. Oh, I don't have any oil. Sorry. I meant to produce. Again, my fault. Not thinking clearly. But look at all that power you have. Yep. 
No one should have so much power. Uh, so they're doing an upgrade. There's a whole other mechanic in here which I haven't talked about, which is uh, recruiting. And it's, a, I guess, best to kind of think about that as almost like putting a spy somewhere. Mm. And oh, they got, oh, Abby, you got two mechs now. Yay! I'm uh, so powerful and red. Look at all my money. Let's see. If we, we need bread or uh, green. Okay, let's do our move. I'm going to move. I really want to get this person to the factory. Get them to the factory. I do. I do want to get them to the factory. Um, have you done anything with, like, I'm going to stop this game halfway through and come back to it later? Like, no. does it save stuff? Okay. Uh, I bet it does, but I have not done that. Okay. I think there is just a save. Yeah, right there. All right. So uh, we did that. We can't do our bottom action. So let's end the turn. I'm going to kind of go a little faster now through some of this stuff. Power, power, power. Max, oh man. I'm so powerful. Look at all that. Uh, okay. So what do we we did that last time. I want to produce this time. Confirm. Boom. Give me that. Uh, have you played much with the harder AIs? No. Okay. Uh, and turn, can't do anything else. Do you find that easy is still a good challenge? Uh, if you're learning the game, which I kind of still am in a lot of ways, then uh, yeah, I, I got my butt kicked. Okay. Uh, destroyed. And that's mostly because you just have to learn the systems you kind of have to get get it beat over your head a few times before you really yeah, grasp what like it, why you're losing in a lot of ways i probably have already lost mm -hmm. because i have not opened to my strengths i have not done a lot of stuff uh they're going to start filling up this chart uh pretty quickly at this point in the game and i'm going to be way behind they have so much money yeah no they're they're, they're good at this game so we're going to do the move again uh we're going to get to the factory so the factory is really interesting, and we're gonna actually start moving some folks off of here to get some of this uh, ore made. Okay, so this is what happens when you get to the factory. You basically get to add one more little action card uh, to your player mat. Okay. So we get to choose what that is. Uh, you can only do this once from the factory, and in the, in the board game, I thought you only look at three of them, but maybe you look at four, mm -hmm. and you pick one and you put the arrest back in the pile. So the first one to the factory definitely has an advantage. So we can do a new thing now, which is, uh, hey, you can pay any resource and gain one power. I right? power you're doing pretty all right on right now. Uh, we can pay two different resources and gain a mech, which mm. that's pretty big. Yeah. Or you can pay two different resources and gain a building. Also, it seems pretty strong. Uh, you can pay a, uh, a power card, which is over here, a combat card, and gain uh, an upgrade, which mm -hmm. is also pretty cool. Uh, or pay two different resources, gain a recruit, or to pay two different resources, gain an upgrade. Okay. So these two very so similar. Distinct options here. Yeah, and, and powerful ones yeah. at that. Uh, and this, see this box is longer than these? Mm -hmm. This means that one character can move two spaces oh. when you do this. That's the bottom row action. Oh, cool. Look at that. Yeah, so I, well, if we're looking to get our mechs out, this might be a good way. If we're looking to upgrade quickly, I th I think this one just to get the mechs out in the buildings is probably our best bet for now. So I'm just gonna pick it. With mechs me. out for Vinny. Let's take it, it too hard. And you can see it's been added to our kind of our player mat here as another option that cool. we can choose anytime we want. Uh, and that's gonna end our turn. Uh, oh, do I? No, I don't. Oh, did I forget to up forgot to upgrade? Uh, Never forget right? to upgrade. Or do I have another move? No, did I forget to upgrade? Can you move with the thing you just got? That doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, did I not move everybody? Is that the problem? Why do I have still a turn? There's still stuff that's like bright on your thingy. On here? Yeah, like the there's the wood. Did you do the second tier? Over two blocks. That's oh, like sorry, that. this. Yes, okay, right. I don't have enough resources. That's why I wouldn't be able to do okay, it. Okay, so it doesn't yeah. even matter. <laughs> still says you can complete an objective. Oh, sorry. Uh, boy, I must have missed this entirely. Remember those secret objectives? Yes. Uh, one of them we can fulfill. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, I... Control the factory at the end of your okay. turn and have the highest power. I didn't know we were, we were there. Oh, yeah, you did it. We're playing very well. Congratulations, Vinny. You did it. <laughs> uh, the Yay. Game, thank you, the game, for letting me know that we have done that. So we can complete this. You don't have to complete that on your turn. You don't but have you got a star to. for it. So, But you got a star for it. I have it. to say, the little trumpet and that like completed stamp seem uh, a little <laughs> out of place in the rest of the design of this game. But um, <laughs> So, yeah, we're the first one to get a star because wow. we're awesome. And uh, we got this. So we cannot get the objective. And we totally again. saw that coming. Uh, everybody else can get their objective. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, went for that. Uh, die hard. Mm -hmm. and, okay. It's a smart play mm -hmm. all around. All right. Uh, we're going to speed this up again. Got to move a little faster. Stuff is happening. Clearly. Whoa. 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 Took, a, took a tunnel there. 
Uh, are they attacking me? Because that kind of seemed like they were. Uh, battle gets resolved at the end. Nope, they're just right here. It's okay, them in your space? Uh, it's just workers, it looks like, in my space. Well, there's another mech there, too. Is that my mech? No, oh, that's, no that's, a, your that's, mech. that's an Abby mech. mech. Uh, yeah, so sorry. If I, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to show you what happens when we fight. Uh-oh. Uh, popularity. popularity. Yeah. I only have two. Uh, but I kind of want to just show off battle. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do this one, which is going to gain us a mech or a building. Let's gain a building because we haven't done that yet. So let's pay... Bread is like the one thing you haven't been getting any of. Yeah. We're going to pay uh, some oil. I just pay? Oh, there it goes. Again, please. You might have to select a different oh, one. Oh, do you have to do two different ones? I don't know if I realize that. Select a resource to pay. Choose a hex to get it from. Yeah, I think you might have to do two different resources. Oh, weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess this means like not the same. Two different ones. This like does yeah, not equal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've never had this this factory card before. So uh, we've done that, and we're gonna upgrade. This is gonna get us a building. So let's pick. Let's just go. I always like the mill. And let's mill it up. Let's put a mill here. Hello. There we go. Got our mill there. We'll we'll be able to just make iron. And now we're gonna move our. Um, our mech right into here. Get him. Okay, combat. I'm gonna lose a lot of popularity. This is a bad move, by the way. Okay. I, I should also mention this is not a com. I have not found this to be a very combat-focused game. Right. Okay. You just want to show it off. I kind of want to just show it off. All right. Here we go. Okay. So combat's kind of interesting here. So you can spend up to seven of your power. Uh, which we have nine. You can spend up to seven, you see here. Mm -hmm. So what's happening in the board game is you have a little like dial mm -hmm. that you then keep secret from the other player. And you're choosing how much power you want to spend secretly oh, in this see. fight. And let's say, um, Abby, this is you. Yeah, so let's say I choose like a four. You choose and a you four. Choose a six. Yeah, so if that were just it, I would we'd then put our dials down and I would win. Right, but let's say like I choose a two and you choose a seven. You wasted like five. I whatever. wasted five, exactly. Uh, and then I would be very vulnerable next turn. Uh -huh. But the modifier to that also are these combat cards we have. And these are cards, physical cards you have that have numbers on them. So I have two cards that have a two on it, one card that has a three on it, one card that has a four. You can use as many of these cards as you have figures on the space you're fighting. Oh. If my mech and my little plastic wolf here were together, I could use two. I could only use one because it's just one mech. Right. But if I had four mechs, I could use four cards. And that's a big modifier because then I can use seven plus four. Mm -hmm. And like, unless you have a combat card, there's no way you're gonna win. So that's why this is a big question mark here because we, we don't know how, what this is gonna be. Okay. Uh, generally, uh, it is known how much power you have, so I can see that. That's a known thing. So you have nine as well. So I think we should just go all out. I don't know what your combat I mean, card. We're also not gonna be playing this for too much longer. No. So yeah. I think I say we go all out and use our four card. Wow. Uh, Get him. And I, I say let's fight. Come on, Abby Bottom. I'm rooting for myself. So they went all out too. Oh, oh. it's a tie. And so that means uh, I actually take uh, the victory, the, the aggressor in a tie. Oh. Okay. Uh, so they're going to get booted back. Damn, dude. They get all the way booted back to their player space here. I have lost a ton of popularity for doing that. And some we, power uh, that yeah, you used. We have bottomed out. I have lost all the power. But you did I've, get a star for it. I spent. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, they lost all the power they spent, and they also get. If you spend at least one power or a combat card, you get a new combat card. Okay. So that that is kind of how the uh, battle works. And let's do that. Uh, now they're going to go to produce. Did your mech disappear? Or no, something? it should be on that square. Uh, let's just speed this up a little bit. And and that's kind of kind of it. I don't know if we'll get things things ramp up and accelerate, so things will probably move a lot faster. No, my mech's no, kind of yeah, still there. Out here. So, you know, I got the two oil that were on here. Was it worth losing the popularity? Probably, Probably not. not. Uh, it was kind of a dumb thing to do. But at the you same time. I'm also way open if uh, if Alex wants to come attack me. Um, and I do. <laughs> if you do. Uh, so that's that's kind of scythe. Uh, again, we can, kind of, we can kind of keep moving, but that's generally the flow of the game. There's a yeah. lot of systems at work. I think I hit them all. The recruit thing is one thing I didn't talk about, but I'll, I'll just mention briefly here. Uh, you basically pick 
you get a one-time bonus. It's like, hey, extra money, extra power, extra this. And then you also pick anytime another player does an action, you get a special bonus. And right. then it's happening. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, you would get like, oh, if they do upgrade, you would get more power. Right. And it's kind of like you have a spy there or something like that. Anytime you do something, I'm going to get something. Mm. Uh, and it's a, it's a little weird. Mm. It's, a, it's kind of the, one of the weirder mechanics because you have to pay attention to what the other player is doing. It's a, something I'm not a huge fan of in, in this, but that's what that's what the recruit is. Um, it seems like a dense game, Vinny. It kind of is. <laughs> but in a way, it's not once you start playing. Mm -hmm. Like the first couple of turns take a while, especially physically in front of people. It takes a while, but once you get into the flow, it's it's pretty good. Cool. It's systems heavy. I think the digital version is fun to see what techniques an AI would use or to play, like Abby said, against somebody far away or uh, remotely. Right. That's neat. But uh, for me, I really like the physical nature of this game. I like the coins. I like, you know, I'm somebody who went and bought the metal coins for it because <laughs> I like the metal coins. I I'm like not surprised at all. <laughs> yeah. the, meta, the, the moving pieces. I like the, the clever mechanics of taking a physical thing off of here and moving it to cover something here. Uh, does that all translate digitally? Nah, not as much. So you're saying if people have the means and the other players available, the ideal pro way to play it would probably be the physical version. But if this is the only way you could play this game. This is Scythe. This is still Scythe. This is digital Scythe. Right. Some of the physical stuff doesn't translate, but you're going to play the game. Right. You want to practice playing Scythe or play against other people? This is a totally, seems like a competent way to play. $20 on Steam. $20 on Music's Steam. Music's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The artwork's great too. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Vinny.